Okay, so now this video is going to be talking about the continuum hypothesis. Now this video, this video is a little different from the previous one because we we dive into a completely different, well, not completely different, but a slightly different realm of math. Now the continuum hypothesis is, can be thought of as the fusion between number theory and set theory. I mean, a lot of the, they're basically completely, you know, overlaps. Everything you know is just uh, a union of number theory and set theory, if you will, and. Uh, so we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to continue the set theory concepts, which is necessary to understand for this video, like cardinality. Now, cardinality is, it's simply the number of elements contained in the set. Uh, so like up here we have 7, 3, and 4. Now that's three elements in the set, so the cardinality is three. Simple enough. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky, and this is really where like, you know, set theory really starts getting a little more advanced. And after this video, the concepts will, you know, quickly pick up. From this, from from here, okay. So here we have where the cardinality of x is less than the set of natural numbers. And this you know fancy n simply means the set of all natural numbers. If it, if the cardinality of set x is less than this, then the set is uh, deemed finite. Now, if the cardinality is equal to the set of natural numbers, then it's called countably infinite. And if it's greater than, it's infinite. Now. This is interesting because how do we, you know, exactly quantify this, this set of natural numbers if, if it's, you know, whatever number we use is going to, is doomed to be finite. So, we have this fancy Hebrew letter called Aleph, which, or Aleph, I'm not sure you pronounce it, it's, you know, again, Hebrew. Now, Aleph not, that simply, that's, that is how you denote the cardinality of natural numbers. The, these two are equivalent, just, um, that's just by their definition, their def that's how you denote the cardinality. Now, we see that such a large number, such as 37 squared, and that entire uh, quantity raised to the 7th seven, uh, power. Now, that's less than a left, a, left, a, not, a left not. Now, let's examine why. Because this number, 37 squared, uh, 37 squared quantities to the 7th plus 1 is greater than 37 squared to the 7th. Because you add one more, and it's a natural number, and it's greater than this number by... You know, a uh, uh, one greater than one, and bec because of this, the number is finite, and it is less than a left knot, which is sort of like a uh, proof that you know this number is finite. Now, here down here, here down here, we have the set of natural numbers is a uh, strict subset of integers, which is a strict subset of real numbers. Now, if you think about it, the natural numbers are all the non-zero, all the, all the positive, zero included. Some people just exclude zero, non-zero positive integers, but I, where would zero fall on the number line if it was not included on the natural numbers? I mean, watch just integers. So integers, again, are all the negative, all the, neg all the negative numbers, include all the negative integers included. And the real numbers are... So, you know, all, all every everything that's not complex. Any number that is not complex is a real number. So these, you know, kind of built off each other. They're you know they're subsets. They're parts of parts of. Now, to be if you want it to be if you want it to be technical, you or well, not so technical. You you can technically refer to this as a natural number or a real number because again, the, you can you can use them interchangeably in some senses, not all cases. But um, now let's look at it this way. If Going to our, you know, uh, um, uh, left knot cardinality, like, you know, the set of all natural numbers. The integers, the set of all integers, it starts with negative infinity and goes all the way to positive infinity. Well, the natural numbers just have zero to infinity. Now, that intuitively is, okay, that intuitively is the, the, the real, the, you know, the entire number line there. Why, why, why is this so smaller, but how come then? This right here is is countably infinite. Like it's set theory and continuum hypothesis really, you know, talks about this. It goes into very non-intuitive mathematical concepts, and uh, that is the basics of continuum hypothesis. There's, you know, there's also a cardinality of the the set of real numbers, and then you know, we'll talk, uh, and of course, one for integers, and we'll talk more about how there's, you know, like algebraic properties, algebraic, you know, uh, operations you can do. To you know, understand the cardinality, like it's sort of like in building on greater infinities, and um, you know this kind of all started back with uh, Georg Cantor. He was a, a mathematician, I think, of the 19th century, who uh, really you know studied, like really you know spend you know most of his you know time studying continuum hypothesis. And uh, it's you know it's it's interesting because they really uh, 
you know, dives into higher math, higher mathematics, all set theory, like all logical statements can be, you know, used with set, it can be, you know, proven with set theory and mathematical logic and using computer science extensively. And um, it, it, we'll talk more about it later. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can extrapolate from continuum hypothesis, but this is all really, is, really is for this theory. So it's a quick recap. Cardinality, you know, denoted absolute value bars with X. You know, three elements, cardinality is three plus four elements, the cardinality would be four. Remember, if, if X is less than the natural if X is less than the cardinality of the natural numbers, then it's finite, which is virtually any number you can think of that's non-finite. Basically, the layman's number is not is, is going to be finite. Now, countably infinite is where the cardinality is equal to the natural number. So a left not is by that definition countably infinite. That's the cardinality of that. And then X, the, that when, when, the cardinality of X is greater than the set of natural numbers, then it's infinite. So like infinity, by definition, is a real number greater than all of the real numbers, which includes the cardinality, because infinity is just that infinite. We'll talk more about the infinities, the, a more formal approach to this, but that's all for this video, pretty much. Just, you know, review this, the previous videos, and uh, the, next, the next video we'll talk about... Um, I guess set complements and a few other, you know, tie a few power sets and a few other loose ends. And then after that, we'll go back in the continuum hypothesis and then talk about a fuzzy set theory and then some other, like, you know, branches of set theory and then, you know, wrap, wrap ups to set theory video. And that, this, I guess you could say this is about the halfway point, maybe a little less because the other videos may take a little longer, maybe a few more, but this is about the halfway point. Uh, that's all, that's all, that's pretty much all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.